Welcome to the Jacksonville Marine Association First Coast Boating Video Gallery. The destination to Little Talbot Island for smaller power boats offers serene anchorages and numerous fishing and beach access activities. Continuing in the ICW Pass Port George River, then into Sawpit Creek, one can exit directly into Nassau Sound by passing between Red 46A on port and Green 47 on starboard. Then I turn directly to the east and the Twin Bridges. Several south views of Sawpit Creek are given. Then a high altitude view to the east showing Twin Bridges, Bird Island, and Little Talbot Island in the far distance. A flyby ensues over the Twin Bridges. Most boaters go through the central sections of the fixed bridge, 15 feet vertical clearance then turn to the right and southeast towards the north shore of Big Talbot Island in order, to, in order to avoid shoal waters directly east of the bridges. Now the flyby continues by Bird Island showing numerous boaters enjoying the beach activity. It should be noted that great care should be taken to avoid disturbing shorebirds during nesting or migration on Bird Island. Flyby continues on the north, uh, north shore of Big Talbot Island and over the south channel of Nassau Sound. A high altitude view of Simpson Creek area, both the accessory uh, creek and Simpson Creek. Another beautiful view of the lagoon area formed by Sand Spit at Little Talbot Island at the very north tip of the island and Simpson Creek area. A flyby now of the quiet waters of Simpson Creek, numerous fishermen in the area. The flyby continues to the uh, beach on the north tip of Little Talbot Island. One can access the beach directly by crossing the dunes or going around them, again being careful not to disturb uh, nesting shorebirds or during migration. This is a beautiful Westbrook view of the sand spit and now a flyby of the Mississippi area for the final time, heading westbound down Nassau Sound to Nassau River and then once more after that.